All right, here we are in a beautiful Lake Havasu City morning looking at a 1932 Ford Deluxe four-door sedan, Model 18. Very cool old uh, resto rod is what I'd call this one. We'll walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. It belongs to a really good friend and client of mine over the years and uh, knows his 32s. I'd call him Mr. 32. Just looking at the body on this car, it's very nice. Uh, it's believed that the build started out with an 11,000 mile original car in night back in 1974. It's got a lot of old school neat stuff done under underneath the hood here. It's got a uh, 37 and later uh, flathead V8 that's been completely gone through. Just a slide overbore on it. It's got a flatomatic uh, Ford Speedway Engineering uh, C4 automatic transmission upgrade. I've got a neat little write-up here that we're going to actually do at Spud's Garage. He always does a nice little write-up for me here. The car was built in Denver, Colorado. In 1974, a gentleman, uh, 40, about 46 years ago, the build started. It had 11,000 miles on it at the time, again believed to be. It's actually been lowered. It's had a, uh, I'm going to look for the name here on the cheat sheet. Uh, it's a modified chassis. It's got a four inch drop on it basically. It has a Mustang two steering box, four bar suspension in the front. We'll get it up on the lift at Spud's Garage and kind of give you a feel on it. Over the years since John's had it, he's purchased it in about 2016. Done a lot of neat stuff. He's reworked or massaged the paint here and there over the years and just kind of touched it up that kind of thing very nice body very nice fenders doesn't have any breaks in the fenders or that type of thing you'll find a uh, little mark here or there maybe touch up a little garage scuff here but the finish is just beautiful and this car's just got a nice character and presence up down here we got out here really early this morning like 5 30 this morning to get a good photo shoot in so make sure you go to spuds garage and take a look at that very jenny style dropped headlight bar black spreader bar in the front here Jenny style bumpers he went through and he went through all the windows again I'll have a list at Spud's garage I think two of the pieces of glass were replaced but he went through every window regulator on it forgot the cover that he put a new uh, insert in the roof basically the body's not been modified just uh, very very uh, cool in its presentation brown cloth interior mohair style but the doors roll up and down as John would say just like butter so he's went through every window regulator made sure all the windows roll up and down nice cow vent works windshield tilts out like it's supposed to doors shut really nice got the Sun coming at us here but we'll get around the other side and share a little bit more but door jam to door jam we'll get it up on the lift it's just super clean driving anywhere Total combined, the car is believed to have about 23,000, 23,400 miles on it. Uh, it's got a uh, rear end wise. I forgot to cover that for you. I'll get the spec sheet out here. Has a uh, updated ratio on the rear end. Pardon me, stalling. It has a four to eight inch rear axle. Utilizing coilovers in the back. Again, we'll cover the undercarriage. QA1 shocks. So a nice little flatty powered retro rod or resto rod probably more a retro rod anyway we'll shut the doors here the doors shut nice super nice he's got everything adjusted out nice you'll see the hardware on the top of the doors here he always likes to point out the uh, drip rails on nice cars there's no bondo filled in here so you can still see the rivet points or the factory spot weld points along both sides Again, the fenders are really nice. There's no brakes in any of them. They've had a rhino coating put on the bottom side so that it'll help with the rock stars. There's some minor chips on the forward edge of the fenders here, that kind of thing. Like the look of the uh, V8 center caps and the uh, just the black finish wheels. Cool morning out here. Cool building to shoot in front of. Thought we'd look for a cool spot. John wanted to shoot it someplace new, so we picked it and got here 5.30 this morning. Again, correct vinyl roof insert on the top.
I like the two-tone period style combination. Again, it is a Model 18, the factory VINs on the chassis where it should be. Again, we'll talk more about the chassis up on the left and kind of fill you in on that. Again, the windows here, rolled up and down nicely. The finish around the doors, screws that hold the garnish molding in are all nice. The interior is very nice. Give you a peek at the headliner here. Doors, I just shut that, just a slight push on it. Good. Fun. Fun horsepower. About a 221 cubic inch flathead V8, 37 and later, slide over bore, freshly rebuilt, 8 inch rear differential, nice ratio. Get in here with the automatic update, makes this fun to drive. This typically was a three speed column, but now it's an automatic column shift, which is really cool. Start ignition control panels over here. Vintage turn signals, gauge pack in the center at the bottom. Nice Berber square weave style carpet. 12,370, when they did the restoration back in 74, the restoration began, uh, it had a, a believed to be 11,000 actual miles, so you know, basically add 11 to that. Got a nice factory look and feel. My foot on the brake. Oops, I hit the wiper. Where's it? There you go, it's that switch right here. I'm sorry, I'm hitting things I shouldn't be hitting. We're gonna fire it up here. Hold it up, John. Yeah, we gotta pull it up. Go ahead and hit the switch for me, John, because I got a camera in my hand. So you hold the shifter up just a little bit to fire it up. Man, this thing's just crisp. <laughs> These little flatheads, if they're done right, a couple deuces on it, Strombergs, um, they actually will be just as, just as nice as a small block Chevy. Again, we'll get this up on the lift and talk about more. Show you the exhaust. Ba ba. Rapidy rap. All right, we'll get you underneath the hood here. We'll actually have, I have John sitting in the car and we'll crack it over and show you how sweet it sounds and runs underneath the hood here. Anyway, 24 stud flathead V8, 37 and later, 221 cubic inches. It's got uh, just a slide overboard. It's been completely rebuilt. All new rings and bearings in it. Done in chassis, Ford uh, C4 automatic, uh, Speedway Engineering flat-o-matic conversion, really cool. They're fun to drive that way. This thing's really peppy and nice. Never any overheat issues on it. Has a 12-volt alternator on it here. It's nice and easy to steer with the Mustang steering box on it, which would be like a 67, 68 style. The VIN is right here on the chassis where it's supposed to. It is an 18 VIN car. Has electric cooling fan. It never overheats, 117, 118 degrees, whatever here in Lake Havasu. He drives it around all over the place. No overheat issues at all. Uh, that's a brass copper radiator in it, so those things are really cooling efficient. Stromberg 97 carbs, Edelbrock intake manifold and cylinder heads, 24 studs with the acorn nuts on it. Why don't you go ahead and fire it up, John, so we give him a feel on that. Very crisp. I think I said that to walk around here, but man. Nice. All right, we got it up on the lift here, and we're going to cover the undercarriage for you. This is the kind of car you can drive. 
Uh, John's got it nicely dialed in. The original build was super sweet. I had him follow me back from the photo shoot um, so we could get it up on the lift here at Spud's Garage and cover the undercarriage here for you, study it, that kind of thing. The chassis work at the original build in 74, so this is really neat old school. Nicely done by a Denver area legend named uh, Clinton Sonefeld. Um, all the welds are TIG welded, and John goes on to say here that uh, it's a meticulous masterpiece. He's had 32s, all the 32s he's ever had. This chassis rates number one as far as overall. It's just a nice, solid chassis that's well done with the original rails. 32 VIN. It's been nicely boxed, TIG welded. I'm going to put the cheat sheet down here for a second, and uh, that way I can just keep it going. Uh, QA1, a fully adjustable shocks in the rear here. It's got triangulated four bar. Like I said, it's boxed. It's had added structure. It has a stabilizer bar here in the back. It has uh, juice brakes in the rear. So this is a four to eight inch rear differential. Those would be factory uh, drum brakes on this type of differential, usually out of a Mustang or that kind of thing. Uh, electric fuel pump on the back here. You'll see how all the welds, and he did tubular structure into the frame here. You'll see the upper, I'm going to cover it there. Really cool uh, uh, trans cooler here for the automatic, flatomatic. It's got a nice little air scoop as you're going forward. The exhaust tailpipes are up, will un unbolt here. And uh, they go up over the axle like they should be. Instead, a lot of guys will run them down underneath because it's the easy way to go. John went through all the bushings on the suspension, so all these suspension and bolts have been gone through. Again, drive this car, just hop in it, fire it up, flip it in gear, automatic. It's got a brake bias valve, uh, control valve over here on the side so you can set the front to rear brake pressure the way you like it. Single reservoir master cylinder, has a uh, uh, very nice uh, factory style location battery or under body location battery, it's not factory location. But uh, covering it here, C4 automatic has been completely gone through. It's all rebuilt, resealed, uh, shifts great. Uh, it has very old school, like we talked about during the thing, it's an old school build. This is a steering box out of a 67, 68 style Ford Mustang. It's something they did uh, back in the 70s because it was a nice mount and it makes for a nice easy steer on these cars has four bar front suspension in the rear with a dropped axle. The car's brought down overall about four inches. Um, again, he went through all the bushing suspension bushings, has a uh, uh, steering stabilizer bar here, a multi-leaf spring up here, so buggy spring up front, disc brakes with braided lines. Turn around here and kind of give you a feel back sidewise. Got a nice sound to it. You've already heard it during the video several times. Again, you know, all the brake lines are done nice, braided. Da da da. Fenton headers, the dual exhaust we talked about, custom built exhaust, TIG wheels on the chassis, all boxed all the way up to the nose and to the tail, or you know, just past the axle in the back. Drive shaft. I always like to cover this kind of fun. A lot of people don't know. They think they have a 9-inch rear differential. And every now and then I'll cover this in my videos. Uh, this is a Ford 8-inch. And you can usually generally tell the difference when a Ford 8-inch, you can get the socket straight on here to access the carrier nut and take out the carrier. On a 9-inch, you are not able to access this one, so you need a 9 16th wrench to get to it. Anyway, just a little fun fact. Thanks for listening to me. Go to spudsgarage.com. Have a great day. All right, got it fired up. Headed back to his garage. Make sure you go to Spud's garage. Could be going to your garage. Have a great day.